Welcome to Spectrum Sphere, the hub where curiosity meets discovery. If you're passionate about history, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll embark on a journey through the rise and fall of the mighty Roman Empire. Join us as we unravel the threads of one of history's most iconic civilizations. The tale of Rome's founding is a blend of legend and reality. As myth has it, the city was founded by Romulus and Remus, twin sons of Mars, abandoned and raised by a she-wolf. Historically, though, Rome's start is less theatrical, likely emerging from earlier settlements in the Italian peninsula around 753 BCE. Moving from myth to monarchs, the Roman kingdom began in earnest. Early rulers, known as the Seven Legendary Kings, from the significant Romulus to the Etruscan Tarquinius Superbus, laid the groundwork for what would become a civilization to last millennia, setting a foundation of governance, culture, and conquest. Transitioning from monarchy to republic, the Romans overthrew their last king and established the Roman Republic. Power shifted to the Senate and elected officials, prioritizing a more collective rule. This marked a dramatic shift in Roman governance, laying the foundation for a system that would endure for nearly five centuries. In the Roman Republic, society was stratified into a complex class system. At the top were the patricians, the aristocratic ruling class. Below them, the plebeians, who were the common citizens. The Senate, comprised mainly of patricians, wielded significant power over legislative and foreign policies, shaping the destiny of Rome. During the Republic era, the Roman state aggressively pursued territorial expansion. Successive military campaigns, cunning diplomacy, and the establishment of provinces laid the groundwork for an empire. This period saw Rome's control stretch from the Italian peninsula to parts of Europe, North Africa, and the Near East, setting the stage for an imperial age. Roman law was revolutionary, becoming one of the empire's most enduring legacies. Its principles of justice, like innocent until proven guilty, still resonate today. Citizenship, once exclusive to Romans, expanded, binding the empire through rights and duties. This inclusivity underpinned Roman authority and unity, weaving a diverse populace into a single tapestry. The backbone of Rome's military might lay in its legions, a formidable force of highly trained soldiers. Each legion, numbering around 5,000 men, was a microcosm of Roman efficiency, divided into centuries and cohorts for flexibility in battle. The disciplined tactics and relentless drills of these legions carved Rome's path to empire. The Roman Empire's expansion was greatly facilitated by its extensive network of roads. Spanning over 250,000 miles, these roads connected distant provinces to the heart of Rome, enabling efficient military movements, trade, and communication. The ingenuity of Roman engineering also brought forth aqueducts, bridges, and tunnels, showcasing Rome's commitment to infrastructure and urban development. The Punic Wars were a pivotal series of conflicts between Rome and Carthage, a powerful city-state in North Africa. Over the course of nearly a century, these wars demonstrated Rome's military might and strategic prowess, ultimately leading to Carthage's destruction and Rome's dominance over the Mediterranean Sea. Following the Punic Wars, a new leader emerged in Rome, Julius Caesar. Ambitious and charismatic, Caesar expanded Roman territories through the Gallic Wars, subjugating much of modern-day France. His military campaigns boosted his popularity and power, paving his way to dictatorship and forever altering the course of Roman history. After assuming control, Julius Caesar began a series of reforms, seizing unprecedented power for himself. Despite notable achievements, his rule sowed unease among the elite. Fearful of his growing authority, a group of senators conspired against him. This culminated in Caesar's assassination on the Ides of March, a pivotal moment in Roman history. In the turmoil following Caesar's demise, his adoptive heir Octavian emerged. A cunning strategist, he forged the second triumvirate with Mark Antony and Lepidus, aiming to avenge Caesar. Yet the alliance shattered, leading to conflict. Octavian triumphed at the Battle of Actium, ultimately founding the Roman Empire and becoming its first emperor, Augustus. With the fall of the Republic after Julius Caesar's assassination, his adopted heir Octavian rose to power. 
Octavian skillfully outmaneuvered his rivals in a series of civil wars, ultimately defeating Mark Antony and Cleopatra. In 27 BC, he became the uncontested ruler of Rome, inaugurating the era of the Roman Empire as Augustus, the first emperor. The Pax Romana, or the Roman Peace, was a period of relative stability and prosperity throughout the Roman Empire that lasted approximately 200 years. It was during this era that the empire reached its peak in land area, economic strength, and cultural achievements, setting the foundation for Western civilization. As the Roman Empire expanded, so too did its economy. Trade routes flourished, connecting distant provinces to Rome's heart, carrying silk from China, spices from India, and grains from Egypt. These trade networks not only bolstered the economy, but also fostered a cultural exchange that enriched the Roman way of life. The legacy of Rome's emperors is etched deeply in history. Augustus established a unified empire in a period of peace, known as Pax Romana. His monumental building projects and reforms left a lasting imprint. Then came Trajan, who presided over peak territorial expansion, and Marcus Aurelius, remembered for his philosophical writings. Each emperor's reign contributed uniquely to Rome's enduring saga. In Roman society, religion was interwoven with daily life, governing both personal and state affairs. The Romans worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, holding festivals and rituals to earn their favor. Emperors were often deified, blurring the lines between spiritual authority and political power, further unifying the empire's identity. The Romans were master engineers and architects, leaving behind a legacy of structures that still stand today. They introduced the use of concrete, revolutionizing construction, and their architectural feats, like the aqueducts and the Colosseum, showcase not only their skill, but also their understanding of design, durability, and functionality. As the Roman Empire expanded, so too did the diversity of its religious beliefs. Amidst a pantheon of Roman deities, Christianity began as a minor sect but grew substantially. Despite initial persecution, it found favor under Emperor Constantine's reign, leading to its establishment as the empire's dominant religion. Delving deeper into Roman life, we uncover a complex society bound by intricate family structures. The Roman familia was more than blood relations, often including servants and slaves. Patriarchy ruled, with the paterfamilias holding legal authority over the family, influencing both social standing and political weight within the wider community. As we shift our gaze to entertainment, the iconic Colosseum looms large, a testament to Rome's love of spectacle. Here, gladiatorial bouts enraptured citizens, from slaves to emperors. These brutal contests mirrored the might of Rome, celebrating strength and valor, while satting the populace's appetite for grandeur and violence. Managing the sprawl of the Roman Empire presented grave challenges. With territories spanning three continents, communication was slow and local governance varied. Military deployment to protect distant borders strained resources, while cultural differences and rebellion within the provinces tested the empire's administrative cohesion and adaptability. As Rome's boundaries expanded, so too did the strain on its legions. To maintain such an extensive empire, Rome increasingly relied on foreign mercenaries. These soldiers, though competent, often lacked the loyalty of Roman citizens, potentially undermining the stability and integrity of the mighty Roman military machine. The empire's vast wealth couldn't prevent economic turmoil. As the cost of defending and governing distant territories rose, so did inflation. Coinage was progressively devalued as emperors minted coins with less silver, leading to decreased confidence in currency. Simultaneously, heavy taxation burdened citizens, exacerbating discontent throughout the empire. As Rome's dominion expanded, the Senate's power waned, overshadowed by autocratic emperors. Political corruption surged, senatorial seats were often bought, not earned. This undercut the Republic's founding principles and fueled instability, further destabilizing the empire as it struggled to maintain its vast, diverse territories under a central authority. Amidst growing challenges, Emperor Diocletian made a pivotal decision in 285 AD to divide the realm for more manageable governance. The Roman Empire was split into the Western Roman Empire, with its capital in Rome, 
and the Eastern Roman Empire governed from Byzantium, later known as Constantinople. As the Western Roman Empire grappled with internal strife, wave after wave of barbarian tribes breached its frontiers. The Visigoths, led by Alaric, delivered a devastating blow by sacking Rome in Ford in 10 AD, a symbolic act that sent shockwaves through the known world and signaled the empire's precarious state. In the twilight of the Western Empire, a series of weak emperors wore the crown. Ravaged by corruption and ineffective rulership, the fragments of Rome's vast territories slipped from its grasp. In 476 AD, the deposition of Emperor Romulus Augustulus marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. While the Western Roman Empire crumbled under the weight of invasions and internal strife, the Eastern Roman Empire, known as Byzantium, endured. With its capital in Constantinople, this half of the empire not only survived but flourished, preserving many of the traditions and knowledge of ancient Rome. The Roman Empire's influence persists today in numerous aspects of our lives, from the concept of republican government to legal systems inspired by Roman law, their legacy is indelible. Latin, their language, is the forebear of the Romance languages, and Roman culture has shaped Western civilization's foundations. Beneath our feet lies a trove of history. Archaeological findings continue to unearth the vibrant details of ancient Rome. From perfectly preserved mosaics to grand monuments, these discoveries offer scholars a window into Roman daily life, social structures, and the empire's expansive reach, enriching our understanding of this ancient civilization. The shadow of Rome looms large over present-day governance and politics. Many modern legal systems, republic ideals, and administrative frameworks owe their origins to this ancient civilization. From the Senate concept to checks and balances, Rome's ingenious political structures have shaped the democratic institutions we recognize today. In the realm of culture, the Romans made lasting contributions that still resonate today. Their art, often rich with political and social commentary, adorned their vast empire. Literature from poets like Virgil and Ovid captured the Roman spirit, while philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius offered timeless wisdom. The Roman military was known for its tactical prowess, a cornerstone of its dominion. Their formations, like the Testudo and the discipline of the legions, became legendary, influencing warfare for centuries. The strategies developed by Roman generals set the groundwork for modern military concepts and battlefield maneuvers. Women in Roman society held nuanced roles, often dictated by social status. While they couldn't vote or hold public office, they influenced households and wielded power behind the scenes. Wealthier women managed businesses and properties, whereas others worked in textiles or as midwives, showcasing the diverse roles they inhabited within the empire. Life in Rome was a blend of simplicity and splendor, depending on one's class. Common folks primarily ate grains, vegetables, and bread, while the wealthy indulged in varied cuisines, often featuring exotic ingredients. Clothing ranged from the basic tunics to elaborate toga garments, and housing spanned from insulae to vast villas. Transitioning from daily life to Rome's engineering feats, let us marvel at the aqueducts, the lifelines of the empire. These grand structures carried precious water from distant sources, fueling the growth of cities, sustaining public baths, and supporting sophisticated sewage systems that were paramount for sanitation and public health. The pursuit of knowledge in ancient Rome was a hallmark of its civilization. Education began at home and was later complemented by formal schooling, where subjects like rhetoric, philosophy, and literature were taught. This spread of Roman knowledge helped unify the empire and left an indelible intellectual legacy that endures today. As the Roman Empire adopted Christianity, the early church underwent significant development. The formation of the Roman Catholic Church, evolving from a persecuted faith to a powerful institution, was integral to the empire's legacy. It established a spiritual and administrative framework that would deeply influence the course of Western history. When we compare the Roman Empire to other historical empires, its vast reach and cultural impact stand out. Similar to the Han Dynasty in China and the Maurya Dynasty in India, 
Rome displayed incredible administrative and engineering aptitudes. Yet, uniquely, Rome's legal systems and governance models profoundly shaped future Western civilizations. The fall of Rome has sparked centuries of debate among historians. Some argue it was due to economic troubles and over-reliance on slave labor, while others cite the empire's sheer size and inability to protect its borders from invasions. Even internal political corruption and the weakening of Roman legions have been blamed. Rome's dramatic history continues to captivate us, permeating pop culture through films like Gladiator, series such as Rome, and countless books. These stories bring ancient figures to life and illustrate Rome's grandeur, often romanticizing its leaders and battles, while reflecting on the empire's timeless influence on Western civilization. Today, the ancient Roman Empire's grandeur lives on, as people from all over the world flock to Italy to explore its ruins. From the Forum's sprawling complex to the iconic Colosseum, these sites form a tangible connection to the past, allowing visitors to walk in the footsteps of Roman citizens and emperors alike. To keep Rome's storied past alive, enthusiasts partake in reenactments and living history events, donning authentic costumes and reliving the empire's greatest moments. Through these performances, the tales of Rome's power and prestige are enacted, offering a visceral experience that educates and enthralls, bridging millennia with living spectacle. The Roman Empire's vast legal and political systems left an indelible mark on Western governance. Many modern legal frameworks draw on Roman laws, which introduced concepts like innocent until proven guilty. Political structures such as republics echo the Senate's influence, proving Rome's enduring legacy even in contemporary society. The Roman economy thrived through advanced commerce and a standardized currency system. The denarius, a silver coin, became the backbone of Roman trade, both stabilizing and stimulating economic activity. Extensive trade networks connected the empire, leading to a vibrant exchange of goods, ideas, and culture across continents. As the Roman Empire prospered, so too did its technological ingenuity. From the construction of the mighty aqueducts to the invention of concrete, Romans revolutionized architectural engineering. Their road systems facilitated rapid military movement and commerce, while innovations like the Julian calendar reflected their capacity for long-term planning and organization. In the waning days of the empire, Rome wasn't just battling invaders, but also nature itself. A shifting climate brought colder, less predictable weather, undermining agriculture. Concurrently, devastating plagues like the Antonine Plague decimated the population, further straining the already beleaguered Roman economy and military. As we reflect on the vast expanse of Roman history, it is clear the empire's rise was marked by unprecedented development and its fall by a complex tapestry of internal and external challenges. The Roman narrative teaches us that even the mightiest of civilizations are not immune to the forces of change. We've traversed the epic saga of the Roman Empire, from its legendary beginnings to its dramatic end. Thank you for watching Spectrum Sphere. If you enjoyed this journey through history, please remember to like and subscribe for more diverse and enriching content. Until next time, keep exploring the vast world of discovery with us.